Okay, I think we are up and running. Um, do you like my, my desktop? That's Caroline. That's Elizabeth. This is Sandwich. Sandwich. Look at they're driving on the wrong side of the road. Anyway, okay, so you're going to want to open up GarageBand, wherever it might be for you. Um, if it's not down here, you can always go there and search GarageBand. But um, I am down here. Open up. Once it does open up, um, you can select iPhone ringtone and uh, select mm, select voice. You can choose. We can give it a name. Yes, perfect. Then create. And, and then it should open up and uh, here is your screen. Um, what you're going to want to do first is probably uh, select these tracks and delete them. Delete track and delete track. Um, it's a long explanation as to why, but you just want to delete those tracks, trust me. Um, now you're going to have this master track selected and you're going to want to click edit. Take that, click here and click there. Again, long explanation, but just do it. Trust me, you don't want those on there. So now you can come down to this media. You click media, and that will load up your iTunes. Uh, it'll either load up GarageBand or iTunes. So you've got your iTunes, and uh, all your library should be here. You've got all your playlists and folders and stuff here too, but uh, this is what you are interested in here. Uh, so I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna pick a Gomez song. Uh, I'm gonna search for it here. Whipping Piccadilly. I'm gonna go for the turbo version. And you just click on it and you drag it over into your window. Blink. It'll do its thing here. And then you should see it. As soon as you click on it, you'll see the waveform here. Now just so you know, this uh, yellow up on top is called the cycle region. You can see it there. And um, what this is is the the space that your ringtone is going to play in and you can make it by going to the edge and when the mouse changes you can make it longer you can make it shorter you can't make it any longer than 40 seconds or it'll reject it but uh, anyway this little slider down here kind of zooms in and out so then you can hit spacebar or you can hit play to kind of hear what your ringtone is going to sound like Okay, I kind of dig that, but um, I'm going to zoom in, move the playhead here. I'm going to zoom in because there's a lot of like dead space at the beginning. So if you take your mouse to the bottom corner, you'll see that uh, changes again. And you can zoom. What that does is it shortens your song, and then you click and drag it to the beginning. And when you hit play again, I'm hitting the space bar. It'll start right at the beginning. So, uh, yeah, so you've done that. You can either do this little thing here and move it to the beginning, or what you can do is you can move this cycle region. For example, let's say I want to start it over here. I can just move this over to here. And no matter where this is, when you hit space, it's going to jump to the beginning of the cycle region.
So yeah, that is how that works. Um, when you've selected your in and out point, like this. Um, oh, if you're playing and you want to hear what the end sounds like, you can uh, hit play and then click on the top half. So you hit play. Whoops, so I can... So yeah, you get the idea. So move it around. And then uh, if you really wanted to play with fades and stuff, you can click this button and you'll get your track volume. What you can do here now is you can click and you can add these little buttons. And what you want to do is you click here, and you click here, and you can bring this all the way down, so that you're going to have a fade out. So you get the idea. Um, I'm going to not have that. So I can click... I don't know what I click. I guess if I click it and hit delete, yes, delete, delete. So now what you do is you click share and you click send a ringtone to iTunes once you're happy with how everything works. It's very simple. Blink. And it's going to. automatically adds it over to uh, your iTunes library. It's going to give it the name of whatever you uh, named it, so you can change that within Piccadilly. You can change this here. Gomez. And then, uh, you know, I've got my iPhone over here, and if you've got it to where you're doing this uh, manually manage, and when you click on the ringtone, I mean, when you click ringtones here, you just very easy, just drag it and drop it right over into your ringtones. Doink. That should uh, copy over there. sync button. Let's see what happens. Syncing calendar, syncing notes. Applications. And then once that's done, this is turning into a really long video, sorry. not add it. Very interesting. Open Piccadilly. Oh, I guess you just drop it there, not on the ringtones. So now, when I click on ringtones, it's there. Do -do -do. So, that is it. I hope this was uh, fun and informative, and uh, we'll see you later. Goodbye. Okay,